Welcome to lesson number two. In this lesson, we are going to deal with leads and records. Let's begin. First of all, when you go to the leads icon on the top, or in your case, the leads might be a different name. Some companies rename leads to a different name. So in your case, it might be friends, it might be something else. So I just want you to know that the leads might be renamed and probably the person who is in charge of your Zoho system in your organization will know what is the name. In my case, the name is leads. So first of all, I want to show you the views, how you can see the records in your system. As you can see in my system, I am able to see the pictures of my leads and I am able to see more information. That is controlled based on the canvas view, Kanban view or tabular view. If I will click on the Kanban view, I will be able to see the leads in records. And if I will click on the tabular view, it will be like a table. Whenever you have the view, you might want to see information in a different way. For example, currently I can see only the company, first name, last name, phone number, mobile email, follow-up comments and follow-up date. Maybe you like to see different type of information on the list. In order to see different type of information, you will need to click on the add columns on the top left and then you will need to select the right columns. Let's assume that I don't like to see the mobile and I don't want to see the phone, so let's click on that. But I do want to see the lead status and I do want to see the exchange rate. Now, right now you can see that the lead status will be shoved on the bottom. Let's drag and drop it all the way to the top. And now when I will click on save, you can see that lead status is the first one, the phone and the email removed, and I have here more information that I just added to the list. On the bottom, you can see how many records you can see on each page. In this case, I have 30, but you can change it from 10 and all the way to 100 records. If in your case you see only 50, it means that you are on a trial version and your system is not really uh, a paid version. And this is why you see only 50. But for a paid version, you will see 100. On the left side, I have a way to filter the information that I see on the right side. Let's assume that I want to see only lead statuses that are missed one. I will go here to the small magnifying glass and I will select the lead status. Most people confusing that they are trying to search the value and not the column name. For example, they will try to write missed one, but no matching fields, which means it didn't find anything. What you really need to do is to try to look for the lead status and when you find the lead status you just select here missed one and this is how you can see only the missed one records so the left side let's click on the small x so the left side is really a way for you to filter records based on the column names every part in the record can be searched so you can have on the left side any type of search and the right side, the columns, will reflect your search. Let's assume that, let me just click on clear and now all the records are coming back. And let's assume that I want to have all the emails that starting with C. I will go here, I will select email and then instead of is, I will click on start with C and click on apply. So you can see that I have here one record and the record starts with C. 
Let's assume that this is a filter that I like to save for future usage. I can click here on save filter. I will give it a name and click on save. And now you can see the filter is saved on the top of the screen. So even if I click on clear, I can always go to this record, click here, and then it will show me the filter in action. It's very, very useful. The last thing that I want to show you on this page is that on the left top, whenever you click on the drop down, you will see different kind of views that will show you the, the system in a different way. If I will click on all leads, it will show me the entire leads, all the leads in my system without any type of filtration. But if I will go ahead and I will click on follow up leads, I will get only three of them. The views on the left side are able to filter the information in a very convenient way. If you will click on the small drop down and you will click on create view, you will be able to create your own views based on your own preference. Let's assume that I like to see all the leads that has a first name and a last name, which means they have the complete information for me to work with. Let's write here the name of the view, and that will be, let's say, full name view. The first criteria will be first name, and I will select here first name is not empty because I want to see all the leads that has a first name and a last name. I will click here on the plus button and now I will select last name and you can guess that I will have here is not empty. So the view that I created will have a first name, so first name is not empty. And I will also have the last name, which the last name is not empty. Below that, I will select which columns will show in my view. In my case, I like to see the first name, last name, company email, and let's also add the phone number, just for the fun. And let's click on save. So now you can see that I have the full name view and it's listing here all the leads that has a first name and a last name. If I will click on one of them, let's go to Ellen, and I will remove the first name, you can see that Ellen disappeared from the list. She is not here anymore. But if I will go and I will add the first name to Ellen, you will see that she is back on the list. Now, those views are extremely useful to categorize your information. And if you really use a view on a regular basis, you can also click on the small star beside it, and that will be on the top of the list. So if I click here, you can see that the star is always on the top which is extremely useful. Next, I want to show you how to create a new record. On the top, you will see two plus buttons. The first plus button will create a record on the module that you are on. Right now, I am on the leads module because it's gray. You can see here the background is gray. So if I will click on the plus button, it will create a new lead. And you can see also the title, create lead. If I will click on the top button, the plus button on the top, it will allow me to create a record on any module in the system. So as you can see here, I can create a new lead, contact, task, event, and so on and so on. So that's really a, a nice shortcut 
to create records in the system for any module uh, that is on Zoho CRM. Let's click on one of the leads and now I can show you how to work with the lead data. Each one of the records will have a small pencil beside them. If I will click on the small pencil, I will be able to edit the number. And if I click here on the checkbox, this information will be saved and everybody in the organization will be able to see the saved information. If you need to change multiple records, you are not going to click on the, on the edit button because the edit button is editing one record at a time. I will click on the edit on the top and then I will be able to edit multiple records at the same time. And whenever I am ready, I will click on the save button on the top. And then the entire page is being saved in one shot. Here on the top, I have the blue button and this is a blueprint. Not everybody will have blueprints. If you do have a blueprint, you will get education from your company on how to use the blueprint because every blueprint is different than the other company. The blueprint will carry the business logic and it will apply the logic on the employees of the company. So in this case, I'm not going to touch the blueprint. So this is really what I wanted to show you in this lesson. I just wanted to show you how to work with the lead system. In the next lesson, I'm going to work with you on what is a lead, what is a contact, what is a, an activity, and we are going to wrap everything up so you can be up and running as soon as possible. I will see you in the next lesson.